Live today, uh, letting this fog hopefully burns off. We get out here in a few minutes, so uh, we'll have close to a full day, but we're probably about a half hour short. Uh, I love Lake Vermilion. Practice was decent, but uh, see what turn your day brings. Should be some good smallmouth caught. Spot one update, seems to be a bust. We are about to uh, head out and uh, move on. <laughs> Might have been small though, I don't know. That's what we're after. Really left one behind. This fish, dude. Oh, yeah. I'll swing this one. You're gonna flip him? Number one, he ain't much, but. We're on the board. 833. Got him. Oh, no, I feel like whatever I lost. Die by the sword. <laughs> was gonna come out and eat it without throwing in there. Three is one of the right ones. <laughs> oh boy. Not a giant, but not bad. That could be the small one I think today, maybe. Have a decent day. Thank you. Yeah. It's like the Ron Mayer of small mouths. I was a little bigger when I first turned him because I saw how tall he was. Four of those. <laughs> to go with the one you got? Yeah, for a code, that'd be. Feels pretty good. Made a pretty decent long cast on the side of this dock, right up next to a post. Round post, nothing too scary. Hook a fish, and the fish immediately somehow wraps around the post like at least one or two times. Hold them kind of steady, keeping them tight, getting up there. 
He's not unwinding. We get up close to try to start to get the net. Like if I can just get the net under the fish. Dalton's coming in. And all of a sudden, once we get close and I'm about to kind of like try to reach down again with the net, he surges and uh, snaps the line, which was unfortunate. So a little bit of bad luck on this one. This was another pretty good fish. Now we've got like at least two really good fish that are just bad luck broken us off on docks. Number five, off a piece of wood. He got bigger when he got closer. Yeah. There's a call. He was under the boat. Quick update, 1020. Got three pretty good ones and two dinks still. So all in all, some bad luck, some misfortune. Lost, I should have five good ones already, but uh, that's dock fishing on a rocky, cantankerous, snaggy lake. For now, nice upgrade. Probably help a little bit. Thank you. Nope. Also, like, sat in there a while. So it's like, I don't think so. I don't think that's going to happen. I just missed a bite from that. It didn't feel real big, but if you want to go back to that, I think it's dead. Not saying it's a keeper, but maybe it is. <laughs>
won't be able to use this in the video now. I've cut this part out. The copyright claims. Three hours to go, got about 14 pounds, need uh, a couple of good upgrades. Catch him on a chatter wagon though. Oh, yeah. Almost half pound upgrade. Short hop. I had it pulled away from him. <laughs> no, I think he's got it. I fully intended to pull it away from him and let you catch him, but. <laughs> Actually, a little tighter than I thought he was. Just don't think it's two and a half, though. Yeah? He rocked it right off that dock there. But he like missed it and then he, I was reeling in and he came out and like I was like it. I was trying to like shake him off. I was like <sighs> He's so hot, I was like, he'll eat your drop shot for sure. <laughs>
three. I get a fifteen. Thank you. Yep. Short and stocky. Stupid tube. Let's go flip a patch of reeds and then go fish the docks. A little over an hour ago, uh, got almost 15 pounds. Need to uh, roll the dice, see if we can get a big largemouth. Typical vermilion. Go into an area where I'm expecting to find some largemouth and I just end up catching more smallmouth. So I don't upgrade the bag. Good thing we came to our largemouth spot. Right. Let's pull the shades on. But uh, we're wrapping things up for day one here. We're rigging. I'm pretty much re-rigged here. Got a couple stupid tubes and some other rods. But today was pretty good, but not so good because we caught a ton of fish and had 14.9 pounds, which has got me in like 10th out of 32 boats. And 17 and a half is leading, so I'm like two and a half pounds out of the lead. But there's nine guys to jump, which is not impossible, but got work to do i definitely think i need to shoot for like 18 plus pounds and then some maybe 19 maybe 20 didn't get any big bites well didn't land any big fish today i think i had a couple three one three twos and a lot of almost three pounders uh caught a ton of fish as you saw none of the deep stuff went really had to work shallow almost everything came on a stupid tube except for what one chatterbait fish i'm gonna double down on it tomorrow hopefully get a big bite my co got a four pounder today could have used that one. That would have gave me like 16 pounds and I'd be right in the thick of things here. Um, but we're going to roll into day two. We're going to head up to the cabin. Thanks to Jim for letting me stay here on beautiful Lake Vermilion right on the shore here. Got a beautiful setup here for charging the boat and re-rigging. And we're going to roll this right into day two and get out in the water tomorrow morning where we're going to fish with Max. Execution wasn't the best today, so we need to improve our execution tomorrow and get some of those bigger bites and put them in the box. All right, morning from day two. Here we are, Max has joined us. He's retiring frantically this morning. Decided not to prep last night. This is a, all part of the game plan to catch him good today. So we need to make up some ground, both of us today. Looks like we're gonna sneak out ahead of the fog here. Um, I think it's clear out of the lake once we get out there, but looks like we'll get a full day of fishing and uh, need to catch some big ones today. Not just two and a half to three pounders. Spot number one. I'm gonna try offshore for a little bit. Get it ready. Oh, that's a catch. Nice fish. What the hell is a rock bass doing way out there? Rocky? Yeah. That's a pretty cool one I see.
one out of tap water. There you go. Can't weigh him in, but. <laughs> Not exactly what we came out here for, to be honest. I just assumed you would have caught this one. <laughs> Maybe it's a sign of things to come. I mean, who doesn't love a good shower blow in the morning? change as you can see a crazy alarming amount and super dense fog bank descended on vermilion as we were moving from spot one to spot two it's gotten a bit foggy Tiny tube in his mouth. Number two. Just throw him right back. I'm shot in one of those, their new little max scent tubes. Oh, I haven't tried those yet. They're, they're even smaller than these. I definitely like drop shot with tiny tubes. Due to the fog and not be able to run around and see a ton, I decided to fish offshore and try a few more spots in this area a little longer uh, to make use of the time. Couldn't really run and gun and look for docks and trees and things like that on the shoreline. We'll check one more spot and see if they've showed up somewhere. There actually was quite a few fish there in Prakta. But they're not used to fish. Tiny. I got him. I guess he's a keeper, but. Leak. I don't think I'll be putting him in the box based on the visual of that tube. <laughs> I'm gonna let that one go. Can't risk not calling him. Decent one? Yeah. There ain't shit for him to get caught out here, so take your time. No. There you go. Bigger than some of the ones you weighed yesterday. <laughs> nice job. Alright. Time to ride. Burn some troll motor batteries. Good. A little sleepy. Number three, right back where we were yesterday, catching quality, just not. <laughs> 922, third dock, got a decent one. We're going to keep running with that.
swing them. Huh? I'll swing them. Four. Ain't much. Felt better. My first help. It's like, oh, maybe that's a good one. No, you're not a big fan of muskies? How far are we from Canada? Eh, a couple hours, probably. I feel like it's going to get warmer than the 60 they said it was going to be today or whatever. Which I also felt yesterday was much warmer than they said it was going to be. was one under that tree. I don't know how he swam away with the tube. Go ahead, you can throw on there. I'll chance it. But it wasn't a giant. <laughs> Got one? A good one. Not that good. Like keeper. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Perfect. See? I'm glad you threw in there. I'm glad you what? Dock. Number five is a decent one. Thank you, sir. Yeah. More of the same from yesterday. <laughs> nearly throwing up nearly as many crayfish like in July it was just like there'd be crayfish coming out their mouths out their butts like there are more docks around the corner there is but 
I don't know if those guys pulled in right here or not. Yep. Decent upgrade, not enough. Yeah, Brought us lunch? No, uh, sorry about that. So, Darn. Where, where about you guys from? Uh, I'm from the city, Lakeville. I'm from Wisconsin. Yeah. First time in May? Nope. I didn't get yesterday. Nice. That one's got to be close to four, anyways. Good to catch one on a jig. Let's turn it around to go back under the pontoon. Oh, there he is. Not bad. We'll take him. It's a decent upgrade over number four. Yeah. Oh, oh, geez. It looks pretty damn big. Oh. Oh. Yes! <sighs> there was two good ones on that dock. <laughs> Feel better now? Yeah. Thanks, Rich. <laughs> Sorry I had to catch that one on you, but I'm happy I did. That one, I think, has a chance of getting big fish money. Yeah. <sighs> nice job. All right, 12.30 update, which means we got two and a half hours. I got about 16, 16 and a half pounds. 
My small one is just under three, so. Another big bite or two, and uh, maybe we got a chance at a check. Okay, it's all right. You want the net or you got them? I'll get them. Whack fest. We're crushing their faces in. <laughs> Not the giant, I was hoping it was going to be under that pontoon. I kind of pay attention to that. That one's a two nine. Got a chatter wagon fish. from yesterday yet. I think so. I think that one's over. Yeah, that's over three. Piece of wood finally paid off. Jig fell out in the dock of the net. Oh, this is gonna help. 
not a bad day when you're throwing these back. Without actually getting hooked into it. <laughs> Just couldn't clean up any big ones behind him or what? Just the one. Just the one. It's the tough part about fishing with guys who catch all the big ones right here. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you say that all the time, don't you? Uh, actually, yeah, I do. Oh boy, you should. <laughs> that Monday one there. <laughs> Keep it separate. It's a solid workmanlike effort out there today. <laughs> a lot of work for the 15, 16 pounds range. Yeah. Yep. All right, better day today. We weighed 16.72. Max had over 13. His big one that he caught weighed four seven. My big one was four one. So I got the four pounder today that I didn't get yesterday, which helped a ton. Uh, we'll find out how that shakes out. I know some people caught them better, some people caught them worse. We'll see if we move up. And I know we didn't take first <laughs> to move on to the natty, but uh, we'll see if we moved up into check range. So let me tell you, how I caught them. The absolute bulk of my fish, I think eight out of the ten, and almost most of the fish that I caught was on a stupid tube. This color, a green pumpkin. On the agitator heads, 3 16 ounce. Throwing that on the Dobbins DX 743, 18 pound shooter. Got the job done for the most part, outside of a few casualties that you just can't avoid when fishing docks and throwing into tight places. You're going to get sawed off every now and then. So that was the workhorse. We did get one of our good fish offshore today on that tiny little tube. I'll put a link down in the description where you can get those tiny little two and a half, two and three quarter inch tubes. The little Bravarni 16 ounce head, a little football head in there on this uh, Caden 712 braid to fluorocarbon eight pound tatsu leader. Got my only offshore fish in two days on that today. And then the last cull, I finally picked up the jig. <laughs> Three eighths ounce Bass Tech, black, brown, green pumpkin with a little speaker on there. Caught several fish at the NA, but only one I think that actually helped me. So that was a key cull. Hopefully it gets us into the check line. But now uh, we'll just stay tuned and we'll uh, see where we ended up and I'll check back in in a minute after we load the boat. We ended up surging from 10th up to 5th. We're back at home, wrapping things up, put the results up here on the screen so you can check them out quick. Kudos to Tony Hatton for winning the event and all the national qualifiers. Good job, guys. So we're not going to the natty, but we're getting the boat ready. <laughs> got some tackle from Omnia. We're getting the rods ready. We got two back-to-back -back events coming up this weekend. So while you're watching this video, I'm probably packing or driving or pre-fishing for the next tournament. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe so you don't miss those tournament videos. And if you wonder what all this talk about stupid tubes is, make sure you check out the video on the screen right here, and I'll teach you everything you need to know about rigging it and where to throw it and how to catch bass.